Methylene blue is a recognized treatment for refractory distributive shock, also known as vasoplegia. It likely works by decreasing nitric oxide production through inhibition of nitric oxide synthase. This decreases soluble guanylate cyclase production, which ultimately reduces smooth muscle relaxation and vasodilation. The most notable risk with methylene blue is the development of serotonin syndrome. Although this is rare, the risk is elevated in patients taking other serotonergic medications like serotonin reuptake inhibitors or monoamine oxidase inhibitors. Patients with a history of glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase or G6PD deficiency are at risk for hemolysis. The typical dose of methylene blue is 1.5 to 2.5 milligrams per kilogram IV with or without an infusion at 0.25 to 0.5 milligrams per kilogram per hour for four to six hours. Hydroxocobalamin, or vitamin B12, is available as an injectable dietary supplement. It's approved for the treatment of cyanide poisoning, but also has been shown to improve blood pressure in vasoplegia. It likely also works through inhibition of nitric oxide synthase. Although it's considerably more expensive than methylene blue, it does not carry the risk for serotonin syndrome or hemolysis. It should be noted that vitamin B12 may interfere with certain lab tests such as hemoglobin and creatinine and coagulation studies, and it interferes with the dialysate sensor in hemodialysis machines. The typical bolus dose for vasoplegia is 5 or 10 grams over 15 minutes, which can be repeated. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.